Um, just, just quickly, ASPE, the Australian Strategic Policy Institute, this issue of a funding review ha has really got ahead of steam. We know the Chinese embassy in Canberra not so long ago had a whole list of demands. One of those was to defund bodies like ASPE. We all laughed that off and said how ridiculous it, China's not going to get the demands. But then we have this review. The cutting of the funding is on the table. If I was cynical, I'd say we are dancing to Beijing's tune here. Yeah, Peter, this government is starting to go very bad on China. So Richard Miles in his speech today only made one reference to China and that was in quoting a previous document. So he claims to have profound transformation of defence. The only justification for that is China, but we're not allowed to mention China anymore. The government booted out the Director General of ASIO and the Director of ASIS from permanent membership of the National Security Council, an unprecedented and bizarre move but very much in line with what all the China apologists have been arguing for, decrease the influence of the security agencies. And then the Chinese detest the Australian Strategic Policy Institute. I'd have to tell you, I don't think ASPE is as good today as it was a couple of years ago when it had Peter Jennings, Michael Shoebridge and Marcus Hellier, but it's still a very good think tank. And the very fact that the Chinese demanded that it be shut down should guarantee its safety, instead of which the government has now got mm. a review of federal government funding of strategic think tanks. It's also shortened the funding term of ASPE so that ASPE can't make any long-term uh, spending commitments. And it's demanded that ASPE show it its documents on defence before it published them. Now, if it does act against ASPE, that's just another one of China's 14 demands, which the Albanese government has acceded to. I find that astonishing and very worrying. I agree with you on the worry, Greg. I think uh, this is hugely significant. Thank you for your time. Thanks for that terrific analysis.